Well, hello, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. If this is your first time to stumble across my channel, I'm so glad you're here. Hope you'll subscribe and hit that little bell to be notified when I put up a new video. And hit that thumbs up. Makes me feel good. Today we're going to make um, something that I, I don't make real often, but we like. And one of my favorite desserts, and I'm not big on sweets, is cheesecake. So I'm going to make some little mini cheesecake cupettes. And about a hundred years ago, when I was younger, I sold home interior. And one of the ladies had a party, and her dessert at the party that she served, man, we got some good recipes from those parties back in the day, because everybody tried to put on the dog and have something better than the next one. Anyway, she made this dessert, and that's the first time I had ever seen it in a miniature form like that. So I'm going to make the little miniature cheese cupcake thingies. And um, you can top them however you want to. I'll probably put cherries on the top because I'm going to make some chicken spaghetti and take down to the grandkids and I'm going to take them a dessert and surprise them. But uh, to get ready to get over to the mixer and make the filling, you take just a regular muffin tin and put your, your liners in it. And in each liner, you're going to put a vanilla wafer, just a little vanilla wafer, flat side down in the muffin tin. And that's going to be the bottom of the crust. So I'm going to go ahead, while y'all are sitting here listening to me talk, and I'm going to go ahead and get my cookies. I'm doing six. I can't remember how many it makes. I'll be sure and give you a good accurate count when we get done. I'm going to bring y'all over to the mixer, and we're going to get the filling mixed up. And you bake it at 300 just till it's set. That's what's on the recipe card. And I don't remember how many minutes. So I'll try to time it where I can give y'all how many minutes. But we'll get the goodie made to go in them. Get them baked. And then we'll get us some cherries on the top. And I'll show y'all how pretty they are. And I might have to eat one. I don't know. The devil might make me. I don't know. Come on over to the mixer. We'll make some cheesecakes. In the mixer, I've got two 8-ounce blocks of cream cheese that I've softened, and I'm just going to whip them a little bit. And to the whipped cream cheese, I'm going to add three-fourths of a cup of granulated sugar. And blend that just a little bit. You want to get it real creamy. I'm going to scrape it around the edges and make sure it's all getting creamed good because we got to add some eggs and some more stuff to it. Okay, into the cream cheese we need to add two eggs. I'm going to blend that really well. You want to scrape all around really well because you want to be sure there's no blobs of cream cheese that hasn't been blended. That would mess up the smoothness of your little cream cheesecake when you got ready to take a bite or serve it. Now into this, after it's been well blended, we need to add two teaspoons of vanilla and three teaspoons of lemon juice and blend that in. And I'm going to scrape it one more time just to be sure. Okay, we're going to get back over to the uh, booze block and start putting this on top of our crackers, our vanilla wafers, and get it in the oven. Okay, I'm going to use my little gravy ladle here to ladle my stuff in on top. And you want to fill it about three-fourths full and leave room for your cherries on the top. These are so good. I love cheesecake. 
Of course, my mind's running wild with me. I'm thinking, why couldn't I put some, just put some caramel on top of that and a little bit of chocolate? And you can. You can top it with whatever you want to. It's just, you know, once you have something a certain way, that lady did um, cherries, and I like cherries on top of my... Uh, we make one we call a Cheerio cream cheese pie at Christmas. It's basically the same thing in a graham cracker crust. I'm making a dripping mess here. But I told y'all I know exactly how to clean up a mess. I've made plenty of them in my lifetime. I sold home interior. See, I like to talk and I like people. So I enjoyed doing that. I sold Tupperware. I've done Tupperware again in the last couple of years, but not holding parties, just word of mouth. But I love, uh, I love sales. I've always liked sales. My husband said I could sell ice to an Eskimo. I think I'm going to have enough for maybe six or twelve more. We'll see. I'll have to go hunt another muffin pan and have it ready. A little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to get these over there in the oven, 300 degrees, and I'll just see how long it takes them, and then we'll know on the next tray how long to, to wait. So I'll bring y'all back in just about probably the amount of oven. minutes. And I didn't time them, but I'm timing the next pan. So I'm going to get them over there and put them on the rack, a, a cooling, cook like I do cookies, and let them cool, and then I'll put some topping on them. But I got the first 12 out, and I've got 12 more in. Then it'll be eaten the time little cheesecakes out of the oven, all 24 of them, and you cook them for about 20 minutes at 300 until they're set. So that's not on the recipe card, the 20 minutes, so now you know. So I'm going to get a can of cherry pie filling, and that's what I'm going to top them with, but I'm just going to show y'all the cherry pie filling because I don't want to try to transport them with the filling on the top. So I'm just going to take it in a can with me when I go down there to uh, share them with the grandkids. So, But I will show y'all what I use to put on the top. Hey y'all, this is what I use. It's just the regular cherry pie filling that you put on the top of those cream cheese pies or put in hand pies or make a regular pie with. But mine's just the Walmart brand. But I'm just going to carry it in the can or I'd have red cherries all over my car. That's just how I am. I'm kind of messy. So I would take each little uh, cupcake and put about a tablespoon of this and be sure I have two or three cherries on top of each one. And that's how I'll serve the, the babies, the babies. They're 15 and up, but they're still babies when I get down there. Just wanted to show y'all that. I sure do hope this is a new recipe for some of y'all. It's fun when I can give somebody a recipe they hadn't tried before. Or maybe you're like me. It was in the file and you hadn't made it in a while. And you thought you needed to make a different kind of dessert. So they're easy to make. Don't take a whole lot of ingredients. And they're pretty quick. And then they're real attractive when you got all those little... You can do peach pie filling, blueberry pie filling, whatever you want on the top. And, and change the color. Um, but it's still going to be a cheesecake, and that's what makes it wonderful. So y'all get the recipe at the end, but remember, cook them about 20 minutes. That's not on the card, but the temperature is. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. I hope you come back for the next video. And in the next day or two, I'm going to be showing um, the cloth that I have for Christmas aprons for the occasion of Christmas. And then I have some neat aprons, that a uh, fabric that you might want to order for gifts. I have some coffee fabric and some more farmhouse fabrics, quite a few, and we need to, I need to show you, and I need to get the orders in so I can get them in the mail in time to get them for Christmas. So y'all stay tuned, and in the next day or two, I'll try to get that video done. The good Lord bless you. I'll see you again real soon.